welcome. I'm Robert Estrin and this is livingpianos.com. I'm showing you today a Steinway Model O. Now, what is a Steinway Model O? It's a five foot, 10 and a half inch grand piano. I'm gonna tell you more about the history of the Steinway Model O, but I wanna get right into music because it's such a glorious instrument. I would wanna first let you hear the clarity of the piano by playing the beginning of the Bach Italian Concerto. Ah, joyful music, a great piano, the action is very responsive, medium weight. Some Steinways can have a kind of a stiff feel, not this piano. It has a very fluid action, not light, but very responsive. The ivories on here, you know, before I was shooting this video, I wanted to see, oh, are these ivories or not? I had to look really, really closely. Usually you could tell ivories because of all the imperfections. You see the line at the seam where the front and back part are. These are so immaculate that I had to look really close with my glasses, my reading glasses, to even tell that they're real ivories because they're so perfect, they almost seem like plastic, but indeed they are real ivories. And I always appreciate that, not just because of the feel, which is, which is a nice feel, but because it gives you an idea of what kind of history the piano has. After all, this piano is more than 100 years old. The fact that the ivories are still on here really is an amazing thing when you consider all the things that could have happened during all those decades. More than that, the piano is in an incredible condition. It's been very, very well cared for and maintained over the years with work. So it plays on a high level, looks gorgeous as well. Now about the Model O, what is that about? Well, you're gonna to have to wait a little bit longer because I'm gonna play some music for you. Then I promise I'm gonna tell you more about the Model O, some information that I think you're gonna find interesting. You know, I was trying to think what to play that really shows the range of the piano. And I thought, why don't I play kind of a condensed version of the B minor scherzo. I'm gonna start in the middle section and then go to the end so you can hear kind of the, the range of tone of this piano.
yes, this is a serious instrument for a serious player, small venue, recording, teaching studio. If a high quality Steinway is required, this is definitely up to the task. It's also, as I mentioned, a beautiful instrument. Now I'm finally going to tell you more about the Model O. Now what's so special about the Model O? Well, here's a, an interesting bit of information that some of you may know. The 5, 10 and a half inch Steinway Model O was not made in this country for many, many decades. Yes, it was made in the early part of the 20th century. And then the Model L was the 5, 10 and a half inch piano being produced in New York, while the O was continued to be produced in Hamburg, Germany. Well, just a few short years ago, Steinway decided to drop the Model L altogether and start making the O again in New York. So the L is no longer produced anywhere, and the O is the only five, ten and a half inch scale design that Steinway produces, both in New York and Hamburg. Interesting tidbit of information. Now, what is the difference between these two scale designs? Well, the architecture of the, of the scaling is a little bit different. The shape of the tail, there's a little bit perhaps a more punchiness to the O. I'm not really sure because, frankly, the difference between one piano and the next, in my opinion, is probably greater than the inherent difference of an O versus an L. Now, there might be other people with even more experience than I have with Model L's and O's who can enlighten me as to what those differences may be. But for my experiences, they both can be great pianos or less than stellar instruments, depending upon the particular piano. I'm going to close out now with just a little bit of Scarlatti for you. The beautiful, one of his beautiful D minor sonatas. And I say one of his D minor sonatas because did you know that uh, Scarlatti wrote over a thousand sonatas, and this is one of the glorious of the thousand, the, this D minor sonata. I hope you enjoyed this Steinway and it's a pleasure bringing you these videos and any suggestions for future videos, I welcome them. I am Robert here at livingpianos.com. Thank you very much for joining me. See you next time.